No, no, well, thank you, Nima. So for walking, we don't need the robot. No, we don't. We don't need the. Uh, yeah. The we robot. don't need the, the microphone. Um, Tony, what do you want to do? Maybe that could be... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's pretty good, and it... And this is very nice with me because I make him fall and he... <laughs> Um, just to start off with, if you can give me your name, the name of your company, and the name of your friend here as well. Okay, my name is uh, Julian Gorias, and I'm working for Aldebaran Robotics. And uh, that uh, is now, it's a humanoid uh, robot, imagine and uh, uh, made in France. What can, I mean, there's a lot of things you've just shown us, and there's a lot of things that now can do. But can you can give us an idea of an overall picture of um, what now can do for people? Yeah, it's, there is so many things to say. The field is so huge. The idea is now is a platform for university labs to doing things with, and a lot of things. Our, um, our idea is building robots for helping people. So it's more a social interaction robots. That means uh, that robot won't bring things for the moment because it's too tiny. But it could interact with autistic children, with old person with uh, young people telling story, make games, be a, as a teacher, you know, or many, many things. Super. Uh, and when people come to the exhibition and get to see now, obviously they'll, they'll be very interested in how can they interact. Yes, so there is many ways to interact with, with the robots. Uh, the first, we, we the speak recognition. So you just speak to the robot and he understand what uh, you are saying. You see the face. It could also follow Red Bull. Uh, it could also um, follow someone. If you, uh, if you give the hand uh, to the robot, you can walk and the robot follow you. So uh, there is many ways. Uh, what, we, what we want to show at this exhibition is how the robot could entertain people. And um, now is, um, to me, is kind of the future. Um, but what can, we, what can we see from now? In the future, without being too complicated. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's it's okay. Uh, the idea is, in the future, there will be many kind of robots. Uh, 
with wheel, uh, human aids uh, everywhere. Uh, Nao will be the first, I hope, first uh, platform that you could buy to have it at home, to entertain you, to research if you are curious and you want to, you feel there is something in the future, like, you know, in the computer in the 70s, 80s, you know, people was buying computer, but everybody was saying, it's a toy, what, what, why are you buying that, you know? You can do nothing with a computer, and today, do you imagine your life without computer? So it's, I think, quite the same story with the robots, that soon you will, could buy robots, and uh, there are people, you know, who feel that uh, things, you know, that's um, revolutionary, a lot of, again, uh, that technology revolution is coming, you know, because today, We've got the technology to do amazing things. So uh, the computer is ready, mechanic is ready, so robots are arriving. Definitely, yeah, Kevin. Uh, and uh, the, the final question I have is, is, I suppose, more of a statement more than a question, but it's, it's something that we're kind of used to in a way. So it's not a huge leap. People have Siri on their phones, and there's uh, smartphones with, with facial recognition. So yes. kind of like putting that in a robot and, uh, and, and other things as well. That is kind of the future, I suppose. Yes, of course. The, this robot's got the Siri uh, because it's a, by a nuance. It's a, it's a company makes a speech recognition, and the robots got it. So uh, yes, very fun when people talk to me about. Oh, you see in the iPhone? Say I know the robot use it. It's not called Siri, but uh, yeah, yeah. The idea is we try to be at the top of the technology, of each technology, because the robotics is the meetings of lots of technology. It's about the sound, it's about the video, it's about the balance of the robot. It's about, so there is many, many things where you have to be on the top of the technology. Just, it was not your question, so no, no, what, e like what exactly your question no, was? My, my question, I suppose, was kind of like, a, that, that is the future, isn't it? Using facial recognition, voice recognition, because I suppose that's kind of how they get humanoid, I suppose, that's the question I was asking. Yeah, yeah, yes, the, the idea is, uh, the interaction with a computer, with a keyboard and a mouse, it's not natural. You know, it's something, it's the best solution we found that at the time we want to interact with. But in the future, I think that the simple way to, to, uh, to do things and have things, you just move the hands in the air, speak, and uh, the, the person in front of you can interpret what you are talking about, you know, without a word. You know. That's the future, yes. For the moment, I could not say the robot do that. Yeah. That's the future of, uh, you, you, you could see that in Kinect. So for the moment, Kinect is very, you know, you do this and it's very, but in the future, we could imagine you could interpret the posture of the people to know what they, are, what they want really or something like this. Yeah, 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 and that's still to come, isn't it? And that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to be very interesting, okay. I think. Well, I think that's all the questions I have. Nice.